Right, so the name of Michael Collins is on my mind right now. Um, he was the command service module pilot on the Apollo 11 mission who stayed in orbit while the better known Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin descended to the surface in the lunar module. Uh, I grew up during the Apollo era and have had a lifelong obsession with the lunar module in particular and have amassed a nice little collection of them ranging from examples by Micro Machine through these plastic, almost anonymous late 60s, early 70s forms to the uh, Galoob or, oh boy, that's not it, Safari uh, and their space tube collections. Here's an Airtel uh, lunar module uh, which nicely separates so you can relive those exciting moments of lunar orbit rendezvous where the LEM ascent stage would separate to uh, redock with the command module in orbit. This is a set by New Ray, not Galoob, New Ray model kit. And Star Trek fans were very lucky to get this nice set for the uh, Star Trek Interspace series, which does indeed dock. And there's little astronauts that go in each one. Uh, although, strangely, the command service module is a two-seater. Huh. I've even managed to find this nice NASA-issued uh, foam version, bouncy. And my favorite, I think, has to be this uh, little uh, splashdown capsule. That's what I call it. Uh, with the... Uh, ro flotation correction bags inflated on it and here's even a gumball machine fantasy takedown on the uh, lunar module and its spindly little legs that I think is quite valid and who can forget what I call a space bucket lem uh, that came with the buckets of uh, astronaut figures um, I think someone still makes them. Not sure. Interesting form. I always wondered how they got out of it. There's no door and there's no ladder. Um, and I think I had one out when I was a kid. Um, and here's another of the uh, white little lems with some more spacemen that I need to open yet. I want to know if the collection of spacemen was any different than in the first one. And the LEM is a little bit more intact, although its antenna array is in distress. Um, and perhaps the rarest examples are my own paintings. There's only one of each. Here's one that's sort of derived from that picture of uh, Apollo 12. Uh, LEM over the moon. And a little funky LEM I used to carry around everywhere. I always make sure I've got one with me. And this is my favorite of them all. Ode to uh, Alan Shepard on Apollo 14 making the golf shot, although it doesn't have the ID stripes that were used in the later missions. And it is time to make these real. And I even sort of plotted out earlier that they should just open. Ah. These were purchased to be opened. Packaging is compromised um, beyond that, which would be useful uh, for collecting purposes. And I want to see them docked. Well, I thought it would just spindle right open. And of these two, the command module, whose package I'm destroying, was the harder of the two to find, uh, at least at a price 
that my working artist budget can afford. Let's see if the... Okay, so it doesn't feel like the capsule comes off, which is a little bit weak. Oh, no, it does. Something's going on here. I'll have to look into it after the show. Uh, and here, of course, is the lunar module. Not sure why it turned green. Is that the paint degrading? Who knows? Play Vision's command service module and lunar module docked as advertised. Fantastic. And bottom of each you get an authentic NASA sticker. And I'm going to free those a little bit more carefully so I can at least save the cards, although the plastic is history. And I'm going to start making art with this stuff. Does the, does the lunar module come off too? I'm going to have to very gently figure out what this thing does or doesn't do. But uh, Michael Collins there piloting the command service module, getting them in position for their descent to the moon. Ah, oh, I love it.